All right, so if you're watching this video, you have OneNote on your iPad and you are um, able to get in. So now this video is about transferring the worksheets and the links that Ms. Gelber and I, Mr. Gordon, give to you. Your first assignment is going to be transferring the first worksheet or the first page that we have in here. And that's a graded assignment, it's nice and easy. So when you open up OneNote and you go to the period five environmental for Mr. Gordon or environmental science for Ms. Gelber, for Mr. Gordon, you're gonna see that. It says, howdy, welcome, you're in the right place. So you're gonna hit the back, if you saw, there's a back arrow by the welcome on the left-hand side of the screen. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for the content library. The content library is going to be in the middle column. It's underneath the welcome, the collaboration space. It's right, the third one down, content library. Uh, the folders that are in there right now is just one. That's it. If you click on the folder or you touch the folder, it takes you to the assignment. The assignments are always going to be listed in the left. And then when the assignment is highlighted, you can see the assignment in the center column or the center of the screen. So your first assignment is called 1-assignment1, and it says transfer this page into your notebook. So the way we do this is we hit the edit on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm going to hit it a couple of times so you guys see where it is. See the edit? So you hit the edit, and then you have to pick your assignment you want to move. This is the only assignment we're going to move, so you tap on that. When you tap on that, if you look at the bottom, some things get highlighted. The trash gets highlighted, and then the square with the arrow. The trash you can't delete anyway. You can hit that all you want, but this is right protected, so you can't do anything with that. The only thing you can do is hit that square with the arrow. And then you're given the option to copy. You don't get the option to move. So you hit the copy. So this is where it gets tricky. And this is where you have to remind yourself. You have to hit the back arrow where it says period five environmental or environmental for Ms. Gelber. It's on the top left of that square, you hit the back. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. So I hit that square with the arrow, I hit copy, and then I'm gonna hit back, right? Now you're gonna look for your notebook. I'm gonna use Craig Gordon's notebook because we have the same name. So I'm gonna click on, if that's your notebook, if that's your name, you hit Craig Gordon. The other notebooks are not gonna be listed, only yours will be there. And then you just put it into that distance learning um, folder. Now you're not done here. Right now you're still in the content library. So if you try to write on this, you can't. So what you're gonna do is you're going to hit the back arrow. And I'm gonna do that again. So you're gonna hit that on the left-hand side, back. And then you're gonna go down and look for your notebook. Your notebook is gonna be the only one there. You're looking at my notebook, so you see all the students. And you go into your distance learning folder. There's always an untitled page. I prefer to delete it. If you like it there, keep it there. And then the second page will be the assignment. Once that's transferred into your book, you can write me an email and tell me it's in there. You don't have to because I'm going to be checking your notebooks all the time. So you're all good with your assignment. All right. If you have any problems or questions about that, feel free to email me. That's at cgordon at sawanicaschools.org. Or if you have Miss Gelber, then mgelber at sawanicaschools.org. I know a couple of you, you've had me before or you've had some of the teachers that use OneNote. It should be a breeze. If you have not used OneNote, you don't really understand Email me, I'll get right back to you, and we'll get you set up in no time. Have a great day.